Right, this lesson is an introduction to right triangle trigonometry, and so we'll be looking at the trigonometry of a right triangle. And we first want to start off with introducing the definition of the six trigonometric functions, but we want to talk about breaking up a triangle into the different parts. And so generally, we name the angles of a triangle with capital letters. Often we use A, B, and C. Um, you don't have to use A, B, and C, but that's common. And when you label a triangle, and a right triangle, generally we name the right angle C. The side opposite of a capital C, so capital C is for the angle, the side opposite we use lowercase. So the side opposite capital C would be lowercase c. The side opposite capital A, or the angle A, would be lowercase a. And the side opposite angle B would be the lowercase b. Uh, what we're more concerned with is each side with respect to a particular angle. And so if I call one angle in a right triangle theta, so if I call that angle theta, this is my right angle, which is 90 degrees. What I know is that this side right here is the side that is opposite to theta. And so we'll call this the opposite. This side right here is the adjacent. It is the side that touches, one of the sides that touches the angle. And the side opposite the right angle is always the hypotenuse. And so our six trigonometric functions of an angle are going to be defined as ratios of these sides, adjacent, hypotenuse, and opposite. So let's first just look at the names of the six trigonometric functions and their abbreviations. And so we have the sine, its abbreviation is SIN. We've got the cosine, its abbreviation is COS. Tangent, TAN. Cosecant, which is CSC. Secant, SEC, and cotangent, COT. So let's start a new triangle down here. We could let our theta be this lower angle in which case the, the sides would change a little bit. The side touching that angle is the adjacent. So this would be the adjacent side. The side opposite, the side right here would be, and the side opposite the right angle again is always the hypotenuse. So the sine of theta is defined by the side opposite over the hypotenuse. So I'll just abbreviate. It's a ratio. All right, trigonometric functions are just ratios because when you talk about the measurement of the sides of these, this triangle, whether they're in feet, miles, inches, when you take miles over miles, they'll cancel. The cosine is the ratio of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. and we'll abbreviate. The tangent of theta is the opposite over the adjacent. The three functions here to the right are just reciprocals of the original. So the reciprocal of the sine function is the cosecant function, and so it would be the hypotenuse over the opposite. The reciprocal of the cosine is the secant, so that would be hypotenuse over adjacent. And the reciprocal of the tangent function is the cotangent, and that would be adjacent over opposite. There is a mnemonic device that helps, or it helped me, and I think it helps a lot of students, uh, to try and remember this. And really, if we remember the first three trig functions, uh, this mnemonic device, and then we can remember that the latter three are just reciprocals. So the mnemonic device is the word Soka Toa. And so for Soka Toa, basically means the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. The cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so the A over H. And then the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. Here's your O over your A. 
And so those, that, those are definitions of the six trigonometric functions. And let's look at, let's look at three triangles. And basically, a trigonometric function, it is a function, which means for every input, there's only one output. So an angle that's in, if you have an angle that's in a small triangle, and you have that same exact angle in a larger triangle, the trigonometric function is going to be the same. And basically, what happens here is that if we, if we look at this triangle right here, this small one, if I enlarge this triangle so that it is as big as the one next to it, you can see that the, now I'm going to have 6 over 4. And so th the, since it's a trig ratio, it's going to be in proportion. So when we talk about, when we talk about say, the tangent of theta, which would be opposite over adjacent, the tangent of theta, and theta is the same in all three of these triangles. In this case, it would be 3 halves. The tangent of theta in this triangle would be 6 fourths, but that's going to reduce to 3 halves. And then the last one, the tangent of theta, would be 1.5 over 1, and which is equal to just 1.5, which is equivalent to the 3 halves. So it is considered a function because for every input, you only have one output, meaning for every angle, there's only one trigonometric function value for that angle, for each trig function. So let's look at an example in the next video.